Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss an extremely important topic for your NIT PG exam that is subject wise marks distribution for the exam. So why is it important? Because if you know this, then it will be easier for you to plan your schedule. And before starting, I would like to ask you to subscribe my channel so that you don't miss any of the important informations that I'll be sharing with you. Okay, so let's get started. So basically the paper can be divided into three parts okay part a comprises of your preclinical subjects namely anatomy physiology and biochemistry so students basically you may expect around 10 to 11 questions per subject from this part so amounting it to be 30 to 33 okay from part a next is part b comprising of your paraclinical subject namely the uh, pathology, pharmacology, microbiology, PSM and FMT. So these are five subjects. Okay. So from the first four subjects, as I told you, path, pharma, microbiology and PSM, you can expect around 15 to 17 questions per subject from this part. And from FMT, it will be around six to seven um, questions will be asked. Okay. So from this part, you can expect around 65 questions clear so part one or part a it was 30 to 33 part b it's around 65 okay now moving on to the main part that is your part c comprising of the main clinical subjects here you will be getting medicine surgery phys um, pediatrics obg next is your orthopedics anesthesia and uh, radiology psyche and dharma okay these are the subjects in part c so from this entire chunk you will be getting around 105 questions okay so i'll be telling you in detail so basically medicine the general medicine you will be getting around 22 to 25 questions okay next is your general surgery so from general surgery you'll be getting around 17 to 20 questions right next is your obs and gynae so here also you'll be getting around 17 to 18 questions next is pediatrics my subject okay so you'll be getting 10 questions and my subject not to worry okay because i'll be practicing lots of mcq with you and i assume you'll be getting the common questions from my mcq if you're following my channel okay so next part is your orthopedics so from orthopedics you'll be getting around six to eight questions okay Next is your anesthesia, you'll be getting around 5 questions, dharma again 5, psyche around 4, I, E, N, T, 5 to 6 questions, okay, 5 to 6 questions per subject from I and E, N, T. And next is your radio, it's around 7 to 8 questions. So this makes 105. So 105 from part C, 65 from part B and 30 questions from part A makes 200 questions. So any doubt students just let me know in the comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you for watching this video